Uh, hello guys. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, do a classification using a uh, random forest uh, using Saga. First, that uh, what you need is that uh, image. For example, I use this image, uh, which is Sentinel 2016. Uh, Sentinel 2. Then we can load it here. The data. We're gonna wait until load up. All right. It seems that it will load up. The thing is, uh, if you want to see it, you have to well, click it, then click Add to Map, then it show up. The thing is that uh, this map is a uh, have multiple band, so make sure that uh, you want to see if you want to see a specific uh, image, for example, a true color. So you need to remember I uh, use Sentinel two. So Sentinel two, right? Uh, Sentinel two band, two to A band. Uh, as you can see here, this is Sentinel to ban, blue, etc. etc. Oh no, I think this was easier. So, if you want to see a true color, we have to use uh, 42. Huh. The problem is that in this, uh, in Saga, the first band is counted as zero. So, we have to use 3 to 1 if you want to see a true color. Then we can apply. Tada, this is a true color. If you want to use a uh, uh, for example, in the uh, false score, you use, uh, I think, 7, right? Yeah, 7, because, you know, it's supposed to be 8, but in Saga, it's the number getting chopped up, so, it getting chopped up, something like that. Uh, this is it. This is example of uh, uh, false color, to make it easier. And then what we're going to do is that, we want to classify it, right? Uh, first, that we need, you need a training data. Uh, luckily, I already have another. Uh, there's a bear, form area, slum, etc. You can uh, just load it. Uh, we can click all the EM SAP file. So there is five, right? So we can load it in the data. Yep. So there is a multiple file. Uh, you can see, let's say, just, just one way to see what is it. Okay, if we ask where the location is. All right, so this location. Uh, so you, you see, so you don't need to put it there. Just for example, we can just erase it. You don't want to put it there. Yep, it's gone now. Uh, first we need it because this is a point, right? Uh, all this is a point. We need to make a polygon. So we need going to make a buffer. We go to Google Processing. We go to Shape. We go to uh, Tools shapes to buffer you need to do all of them right just remember that so we can choose uh maybe one of it then available for example i think so available and use before the sense uh just not set okay just like this just use the default right you change anything then you can create you did uh, do it for the rest of it too for the water water too oh, oh yeah for the second forget to make a crit so it doesn't replace right just make a new one Up. do it again bear create new one okay it's loaded did we do it again uh And the last. Okay, we're gonna wait for, uh, for this done first, so we can continue. Shape, uh, tools, shapes buffer. Pick a new one. Okay, I think it's done. Uh, to check, we can just load it here to the map, head to map. We can check it. If I do a polygon, wait a bit. Uh, 
right over there. It's a little bit uh, small, right? If you can see here. And also it's gonna get leggy. Yeah, the app sucks. I know. As you can see that the difference with polygon and point is that when you zoom in and zoom out, uh, the polygon doesn't change shape. But uh, with point, uh, the size will be look different. Yeah, we can show it to you. Let me show it to you. This is for vegetable and point, and this is for vegetable buffer. See, if we zoom in, uh, the point will be get a bit bigger. Alright, actually, it is now. I think we can just remove it. We don't really need it, to be honest. For example. Alright, now that we're gonna combine all the buffer into one layer. So it's a string data. So you go to everything, you go to shape, construction, match layer. Uh, okay, choose object one to put. We're gonna put all the buffer. I click here. Okay, all of it. We can create new. Okay, I think this is the vaults. Then we run it. You know, a bit. I think it's done. The smash layer here. I forget it. You can try to load it. Uh, first, we need to delete first this one from the map. Okay, I forget this. There's a type tools data and map, which is a difference. Data is where you store the data. Map is where it shows in this in the apps. Okay, now we can try to uh, show it to the map. We're gonna wait a bit, okay. And actually, you can uh, change the attribute something to become a multiple legends. But uh, well, we didn't have to, to be honest. Okay, now we're gonna do a classification. Maybe you guys want to see it first. Maybe after that, before that. Oh yeah, you can classify it if you want to see a difference. Oh, no. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Right now, no, we're going to do a classification. Uh, we can just remove it so it doesn't mess up with it, so it doesn't laggy. We got the qualification using shape, uh, no imagery, classification, machine learning. We use random classification with figra. That's right. So we're gonna choose our image, which is the this one. Then we choose, uh, just create new, don't set anything, just create, create. Then area, I forget we use merge layers, source. Okay, just use the default one. Mm -hmm. Okay, three count, blah, blah, blah. Okay, make sure the three count is uh, quite down to low, but not too high either, because if it's high, you're gonna take a long time to load. Okay, we can just run it. You're gonna wait a bit. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Just wait for it. Well, it's a little take some time. <laughs> it haven't moved a bit. It's okay. You can just wait. <laughs> this app is not really good at motor trading, I guess. Well, it is working hard. You can check the task manager to see how the progress go. As you can see that the uh, Saga use a lot of uh, processing power here. Yeah, it's really tough. Oh. So it's really good one thing, but it's not all of it is used. It's weird. <laughs> so forty six percent, forty six percent of my processing power. Cool. All right, so it's done now. Succeed. So we can already can check the data. So we're gonna load this data. This is the we have made. You can just add it to the map. Uh, for anyone. So this is the classification. We can uh, change the the, the low for example. We can it about to be green for example. You can do it. Try to right click. Mm, green. 
Oh yeah, we need to click OK first. Maybe water to be blue, you know, stuff like that. Uh, bear land to be uh, orange, or maybe yellow. Huh. For mother to be orange, then slum to become red. You can apply. Okay. So it's the map. Green is vegetation, blue is um, blue is water, red is slum, and orange is you know, just phone area, and yellow is Berlin. We can do a do assessment. Actually, it's pretty simple. You go to processing. Uh, you can save the file if you wanted. Uh, you want to save the file, for example, you can save as image or save as to save as somewhere. Or use a, as a GIF to make it easier and save it. Okay, then next we're gonna do assessment. You can assemble the specification, cosmetic polygon. Uh, we use the we made in the course specification, use lockup table. Alright, that's correct. Polygon, we just start in data, we just make layer. So, okay, then click run. Okay, you're gonna take a time, wait a bit. Boop, boop, boop. It's running. It's running, it'll take a bit. <laughs> okay, I think it's almost done. It's a bit. So this is the table. Have the result. You can check it here. You can open it. This is the look like it for all of it. But if you want to see, for example, uh like the summary, you can choose this one. So this is the value, couple of accuracy. This is the accuracy. You can save the file. Uh, save as composition matrix. You can also save as class value. You can also save as the summary. So there is a tree file. Maybe you want to see it, eh, probably. Maybe for class value. Composition matrix. And the summary. Yep, this is the file. I think that's it. Uh, so you. Maybe you can use uh, another type of uh, classification or adjustment. I think that's the easy part of it. I think that's it. Thank you. Bye.